Hello everyone, let's solve the problem string compression. Given an array of characters, compress it using the following algorithm. Begin with an empty string S for each consecutive repeating characters. If the group's length is 1, append the character to S, otherwise append the character followed by the group's length. The compressed string S should not be returned separately but instead be stored in the input character array. Note that group lengths that are 10 or longer will be split into multiple characters in cars. After you are done modifying the input array, return the new length of the array. You must write an algorithm that uses only constant extra space. Okay. Let's say this is our given string. Okay. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to compress it. How? First we have an A. How many times have we got A? Two times, right? Two consecutive times. Next we have B. How many times? Two times. Then we have C. How many times? Three times. So this is our compressed string. All right. Had it been the case that we have only one character of a particular character, then our answer would be something like A, B, 2, C. A is occurring one times, right? So in that case, we won't append the one into our answer string. It would just be A. Okay. We have been asked to not use any extra space, right? So for now, let's not focus in that. Let's focus on how we can build this string. Okay. So let's do that. Let's try to build our algorithm. Okay. Initially, we keep a pointer here. Let's say I. And we keep another pointer. Let's say J. Okay. Let's say this is our, this is going to be our string. Okay. What we are going to do? We are initially going to put this A. Okay. Now, we are going to move J as long as we are able to see this same character or we can say we are going to move j until and unless we don't see a different character so let's move j pj move j move again move again okay we finally see that we have a different character okay so j is finally here all right and j has covered this distance right how are we going to get this distance if we do a j minus i we are going to get this distance or the length Right. So in this case, what is the distance or what is this length? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 minus 0 equals to 0. That is 3 ha A has occurred 3 times. So we append this 3 here. Okay, fine. Our work for the first character is done. Now what we are going to do? Now we are going to move this i to our new character. Okay. And we are going to carry out the same operation in this new character move j until and unless we have a new character okay we have a new character j minus i is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 minus 3 that is 2 okay initially we append this b and then we append this length to our string fine we move i to our new character okay then do the same thing move j move 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 out of bounds okay j is here out of bounds and i is here we append c first then we append this distance what is this distance this is uh, definitely going to be a 4 right so we append 4 and this is going to be our answer string let us quickly code this approach then we will try to optimize it okay we are going to build our string right so for that purpose let's use a string builder not a string because string builders are more efficient and mutable right string builder in i equals to 0 this is the i okay now while i is in bounds in bounds of our given character array okay let's have our j right this j which was initially here okay now while j is also in bounds cars dot length and cares at i is equal to cares at j that means as long as we are getting the same character or until and unless we encounter a new character we are going to move j right okay now when we finally encounter a new character this while loop will break okay fine now what we are supposed to do we are supposed to append our character 
into the string builder what is it cars of i right now what is the task the task is to get the count or the length this length j will be here i will be here j minus i right let's call it length j minus i okay if our length is greater than one if it's one we don't need to append that one right only if it's greater than one then st string builder dot append length okay we appended this a then we appended this length done then what are, are we supposed to do we are supposed to move up the i pointer right when we are here and we are done with all these work we will uh, uh, then move our i to here right for our new iteration on our new character okay now in the question we have been given we have to modify the input array as well right what do we mean by that this is our input array right let's copy it this is our input array right and this is our compressed string okay not this one a3 b2 c3 what are we supposed to do we are supposed to change it something like this a3 this becomes a b b2 okay then c3 we are supposed to modify it this way the rest of the string we can let it remain as it is doesn't matter okay so let's do that as well for int not int i is already defined right let's uh, reinitialize it to zero i less than string builder dot length i plus plus right we are going to iterate till the length of our compressed string right okay cares of i is going to be string builder dot caret i right Car caret i is going to be string builder dot caret i right here this will be here right at the end our input array is modified now let's simply return our compressed strings length okay let's try to run it works great if we talk about the time and space the time is going to be a big o of n let's say n is the size of our given input array and let's say an m plus m m is let's say the size of our compressed string right and definitely our space is going to be a big o of m because we are building this string builder right now how do we get rid of this extra space how can we get rid of it let's get rid of it we don't need it okay also we are not not going to append right let's get rid of it we are going to definitely going to need this length we are not going to append anything okay now we are supposed to play with whatever we have okay we will try to update our given input array on the go how are we going to do that let's say this is our given input string right okay let's keep a pointer here let's say k okay and what we will do we will definitely iterate over this using our i and j right okay let's iterate we move j to here okay then we update the input array with the character at ith position here in i we have an a right we update this position with an a okay it's already an a doesn't matter but we will see afterwards we update this position with an a that is the character at ith position right at the position which was being pointed by our k right now after updation we move our k to the next position okay now our string has been updated with the character now we need to update it with the length so what is the length length is j minus i what is j minus i it's 3 we will update this position with a 3 and we will move k forward okay and after we are done we will move this one as well and we will bring it to here okay let's continue this okay move j j comes here okay 
put at kth position put whichever character is present at the ith position so we put a b here okay fine k moves here now what is the length length is 2 right so at kth position we update it with the length now fine work is done let's move i to our new character okay let's continue let's move j j finally comes here okay this k was supposed to be moved here okay it comes here now let's update the position kth position with the character present at the ith position that means this b becomes a c right and k moves ahead again and now we will update this position with the length right what is the length the length is j minus i that is 4 so in this place we have a 4 okay now since j has moved out and then we will update i right i to j i will also move out of bounds then our iteration is finished our input array would be modified to something like this a3 b2 c4 c c c we don't care about this area okay now the thing is in some cases the length of our character consecutive characters can be greater than 10 right see in this example our compressed string is going to be a not one we won't include one but b how many b's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 this is going to be our compressed string okay so how can we update this right in this case we can't just directly put a 12 here right it's not going to be a character in that case we will in general convert our length to a string okay and after we do this we are going to iterate on the string okay first we will go here then we will go here so what exactly are we going to do we first update a to a okay it remains as it is then uh, then we have a b we keep b as it is okay then we have a 12 right our k would be here okay now we will iterate on this string okay what we will do we will first put one here okay move k move our pointer to the next digit that is 2 then we will put 2 here okay and then i would be updated to j right j and i would be uh, be here right so in that case we have moved out of bounds so this is our modified string okay and we are supposed to return the length right what will be the length the length will be the length will be this k right because after each iteration k would be moving forward right so at the end k would come here in this case k would after updating this area this index k would be here so we will simply return k that is the length so now let's apply this idea here okay what we are supposed to do we are supposed to update okay let's initialize a pointer here let's call it idx equals to zero this will point to our this input array okay cares of idx b equals to care of cares of i right see k would be equal to the character present in i right and our and this pointer will move ahead okay now we take out the length okay we take out the length if this length is greater than one okay then we are supposed to do something what we will convert this length to a string let's call it uh, s s is going to be the string value of our length okay fine we will iterate over the length string right s dot two carry array cares of idx would be equals to c that is the digit right and after updation at after each updation we will move our idx to next positions right okay after everything is done we will just like the previous approach we will move our i pointer to our j that is move our i to the new character fine and after that we won't need this right and we will return idx okay after it updates the 
last last possible digit of our compressed string this idx will still move one position ahead right so it will be the length of our compressed string so we will return this let's run it let's submit cool what will be the time complexity the time complexity will be a big go of n because we are iterating on the cares array right okay and the space complexity is going to be constant we haven't used any extra space right so this is pretty much about this problem if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye